welcome to yoga. Just a reminder that this is your class. So listen to your body, modify as needed, staying with whatever level you may feel comfortable, but also not being afraid to challenge yourself tonight. Also, yoga is just a series of poses put it together, connecting with your breath. We'll get started. Namaste. Here, from a seated position, we're gonna slowly make your way up into a tabletop position. Hands and knees with our knees at the level apart and our hands shoulder width apart. We're gonna draw your elbows in and tuck them under and bend them slightly. We're gonna pull your belly button in, tuck your hips and your chin under, round and flex your spine and make your way into our first cat. From cat pose, we're gonna let your belly go, we're gonna roll your shoulders back and take a look forward and then your belly truly hang. Here is cow. On your next breath out, we're gonna come back into cat. And breath in, we're gonna go back into cow. Once more, exhale into cat. And back into cow. And then we're gonna make a neutral tabletop. So hands and knees, belly pulled in, shoulders back. And then we're gonna come to spinal balance. We're gonna lift right arm, left leg off the mat. Try not to roll to that left, that right hip, but rather leveling it out. From here, we're gonna return back to tabletop and switch sides, left arm, right leg, Returning back to tabletop, inhale, right arm, left leg. We're gonna hold for a moment. We're gonna bend that left elbow slightly, reach your right fingertips and left toes in opposite directions, and pull your abs in. So we're warming up the back here. We're gonna return back to tabletop and switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Once again, try not to roll to that left hip, so leveling it out, abs pulled in, reaching fingertips and toes in opposite direction, and soften that right elbow. From spinal balance, we're gonna return back to tabletop. Then from here, we're gonna tuck your toes under. Toes are tucked under, we're gonna press your feet towards the back wall. What this does is stretches out that fascia, stretching out those toes. We're gonna to soften your elbows, pull the belly in, engage in your core as we lift your heel, knees right off the mat slightly. So it's really low, You're just engaging a bit of core, shoulders roll back and looking forward. Hovering tabletop is surprisingly a lot of core. Then we're going to press back into our facing dog. So lifting your sit bones up towards the ceiling. We're going to shoot your weight back in the balls of your feet. Just a chance to stretch that fascia. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to come back to hovering tabletop. So look forward. Bring your shoulders over those wrists and knees right off of the mat. If you need, drop your knees down and then lift them up. Just to give you an idea how low you are. We're going to hold here for a moment. Again, elbows are bent. Pull the belly in. From hovering tabletop, we're going to come back into our facing dog. Just ease into that stretch. And then coming back forward to hovering tabletop. Again, shoulders over your wrist, looking forward. Once more, we're gonna come back to hovering tabletop. Put it back into downward facing dog. And then back to hovering tabletop. Holding for three, two, and one. And back to downward facing dog. Then we're gonna walk your hands back to join your feet. So we're gonna travel towards the back of your mat and pause for a moment. So just check in how your hamstrings are feeling. Lifting your sit bones up. Hands can rest on the mat. You can grab opposite elbows or even on your shins. But we're gonna let that head hang. So shaking a yes and no. And just check into how those hamstrings are feeling here. Then when you're ready, we're gonna shift the weight back in the balls of your feet and sitting back in the chair. So drop the weight back in the balls of your feet, shoulders roll back. Knees wanna to track towards your second and third toe. So you're lowering yourself. You can be a high chair or low chair, but the goal is keep your core engaged, head above your heart, heart above your sit bones. Then from here, we're gonna press up to tall mountain. So rooting the four corners of both feet and then using your legs to press up. Tuck your tailbone under and reaching those fingertips to the ceiling as you look up. If you would like, you can press your pelvis forward and come into a back bend, but that's optional. We sit back into chair. So shift your weight back. Again, sinking through more your heels so your toes are free to wiggle. Think about where your knees are tracking, abs pulled in. We're gonna shift forward slightly and press up to tall mountain with or without a back bend. Listen to your body. We're gonna come back in the chair. Again, sinking through your hips, wiggling your toes. You should be able to see all five toes of your left foot and your right foot. If you feel like your knees are too far forward, shift your weight back. You don't have to sit low. Don't sacrifice the form of the pose. From here, we're gonna press up to tall mountain once more with or without a back bend but tuck, press that pelvis forward. Ease in to listen to your body. And then here we're gonna swan dive all the way down. So bring your hands down the mat, onto your shins or opposite elbows. So you're gonna shake your head yes, and shake your head no. 
We're gonna sit back in the chair once more. So shift your weight back, wiggling your toes. We're gonna to press up to mountain. So we're gonna bring our hands down to your sides. Neutral position. So ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. And your weight is equally in your right foot and left foot. Option is to stay here. You're gonna slowly press your hands slightly behind you. What this does is an opportunity to open your shoulders. So you're gonna roll your shoulders back to get that press. Then we're gonna sit back in the mount into chair. So then weight onto the balls of your feet, sitting back in a chair. Heads over your heart, arms are long. What that does, it helps elevates that heart rate. Modification is hands and heart center. So your choice. Then we're gonna slowly press up to tall mountain. Sitting back in the chair. And then back in the mountain. So now we're gonna bring your hands down to your sides or slightly past. But you're gonna tuck your tailbone under, rooting your toes, your heels. We're gonna swing back in the chair. And then we're gonna press up to tall mountain with or without a back bend. Sitting back down in the chair. And then back in the mountain. So now bring your hands to your sides or slightly past, opening your shoulders, abs pulled in. Sit back down in the chair. Now we're gonna bring our hands in heart center. So we're gonna bring your palms together and bring your forearms parallel off the mat. Easy, so let your elbows hang, but we would not do any easy here. I want you to engage your chest muscles. So you're still in chair, you're still weight on the balls of your feet, toes are free to wiggle, heads above your heart, and you're sinking down through your hips. Press your palms together. As you do that, you'll feel the engagement of your chest. Then, we're gonna slowly press up to tall mountain, with or without a back bend, sitting back down to chair. We're gonna come in a mountain, so hands down to your sides, or slightly past, sitting back down to chair. Holding chair, we're gonna bring your hands in heart center. We're gonna add on. We're gonna shift forward, lift your heels off the mat. Your tendency is that those knees come forward and that's okay. Try to bring your shoulders back and then sink down. Using those calf muscles. Press your palms together, holding for five, abs engaged for four, three, two, and one, we're gonna slowly press up to tall mountain. So root your heels, pressing up. And then we're gonna hinge halfway in airplane. So fingertips to your right, your left. Head slightly above your heart, roll your shoulder blades back and open your arms, so reach. Pull your knees back, so you're gonna feel that stretch to the back of your legs. And then we're gonna slowly come all the way down for forward fold, inching through your hips. Take a look behind you. And then from here, we're gonna place your hands on the mat and walk back to our first plank. So plank is hand shoulder width apart. You're gonna come to the back of your toes and press your feet back. Level one is to come down to your knees, your thigh. So it's not tabletop. Tabletop is where you're truly on your knees. Plank is really where your knee meets your thigh. The contact is really, is relatively small. So your choice, level one, level two, plank. Elbows are tucked under, bend slightly. Pull your abs in and look forward. We're gonna hold here for three, two, and one. Now looking up to down facing dog. So lift your sit bones up. Shifting right back in the balls of your feet. We're gonna come forward to plank. Then lower yourself straight on a four-point staff. And back into our facing dog. Once more, we're gonna come forward to plank. Pause, feel free to come to your knees. Four-point staff, squeeze those elbows in. Use your triceps. And then back into our facing dog. You can use your knees with the transition. Now we're gonna come forward to plank. Looking forward. Charge those legs back. Pull the belly in. We have five to go here. Now we're gonna shift forward. So use your toes to a distinct shift forward. Then come back in our facing dog. It's surprisingly a lot of core. Or it's a plank. Then shift forward. Then you're gonna lower yourself. So elbows are tucked under. Bring the chest down. And then roll your toes back for cobra. You can keep your toes tucked under from the top of your feet. And then back in our facing dog. So pull the belly button in. From here, we're gonna walk your hands back to join your feet. So traveling towards the back of your mat. Pausing for a moment. Walk those hands up and make your way back into mountain. So ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, belly pulled in. We're gonna walk those hands down, we're forward fold. Walk those hands forward into plank. So find that plank, starfish hands, elbows are tucked under, press those feet back. Now we're gonna take your hands, pardon me, your feet further away. So separate them. St nice wide stance. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one, bring your feet back, hip level apart. And then four point steps, straight down the mat. I'm gonna squeeze those elbows in and press back into our facing dog. We're gonna flow forward to plank. Shifting forward, use your chair to ring it. Come to your knees if you like, cobra. 
and then back to down facing dog. Now we're gonna step that right foot back. So having your left heel being rooted and step your right foot back. Doesn't matter how high the right leg is, but I want you across your knee to the tips of those toes, pressing both shoulders down. So we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one, bring the right foot down, and then bring your left foot back. So having the right heel being rooted, pulling your right knee back. Tendency as you start to kind of roll to that right shoulder, I want you to press your left shoulder down so you're staying square. Holding for five. And then we're gonna bring your left foot back down. Or it's a plank, four point staff, you're gonna lower yourself straight down, squeeze your elbows in. Press back into your facing dog. We're gonna step the right foot back. Now we're gonna bring the right knee towards your forehead. So pause for a moment as you scoop your belly button in and you take your spine like a cat. Then look forward. Step the right foot through. So one or many steps. Both feet forward. So don't pivot that left foot. Hands at your side. And then slowly bring your fingertips up. So make your way so your shoulders are over your hips. Then charge your left leg back. Again, both sets of toes are facing forward unless you choose to come down to your left knee. We're gonna bring hands at heart center. And then bring hands down at either side of your right foot. And step back to down facing dog. And we're gonna step the left foot back. So having that right heel being reaching, pulling the right knee back. So you're feeling that good stretch along your right leg. Then bring your left knee towards your forehead. Pull those abs in and round flex your spine like a cat. Then look forward. Now follow it through and step your left foot through. So one or many steps. Both sets of toes are facing forward. So take a moment to really set this up. Then abs pulled in. I'm gonna draw your right leg back unless you choose to come to the knee. And then you bring your fingertips forward and up and make your way to the lunge. So easy starting lunge. Trying to bring your shoulders back. We tend to kind of lean forward, it's easier. So want to think about your alignment. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and draw your right leg back. Really engage the right hip. Hands at heart center. Looking down, you should be able to see your second toe and your big toe. If not, we're gonna reposition that knee. Then you bring your fingers up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands down, and step back to plank. So we're gonna make your way back to plank. We're gonna come down to your right knee, put your right foot behind you, and nearly side plank. So take a moment to line up the left foot, right knee, right hand. Then press your left foot to the mat. So you're not just on the inside of your foot, you're pressing the complete left foot and really rooting your left little toe. Tuck your hips under, roll your shoulders back, now lift your left hand to the ceiling. It's easy to stay here and dump all the way into your right shoulder. I want you to lift your left hand actively to the mat. So feeling rather than jumping and reaching up. Option is to stay here or bring your left foot off the mat. You can clear the mat if you like, or challenging and trying to bring it parallel. So really feeling the reach across that hip. Holding for five, abs pulled in. And then we're gonna slowly bring your left foot back. Again, all that left foot. And then make your way back to plank. Find your plank. Four point staff, straight down the mat. Pull the belly button in, we're gonna press back to plank. I'm gonna switch sides, so come down to your left knee, then bring your left foot behind you. And turn that right foot. Now here, again, you're pressing that complete right foot to the mat. Stack your hips, shoulders, and then reach your right hand up. So you're not dumping the weight onto your left shoulder, but you're reaching. How is that right little toe? Come on, press into the mat. Then, when you're ready, we're gonna bring your right foot off. It's simply straight up. It's not forward, it's not back, it's simply straight up. You can clear the mat, or if you're feeling strong, you got the flexibility, bring it parallel. Now draw the right leg back. How's that left shoulder? We're taking the weight off and reach up the rear right hand. Pull your belly in. Gaze can look up to the ceiling, can look forward. Smiling, it's not that bad. And then we're gonna slowly bring your right foot back down again, all of the foot. So rooting that right little toe. Then make your way back to plank. Find that plank. Four point step, we're gonna come straight down the mat, squeeze your elbows in. We're gonna press back to plank, use your knees or not, pop back up, and back to down facing dog. We're gonna flow it, we're gonna come forward to plank, shifting forward, here's your chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and back to down facing dog. We're gonna step the left foot back. Bring, bring your left knee in towards your forehead, we're gonna pause for a moment, it's really quick. Then look forward and step your left foot through. So you're controlling that motion, draw your right leg back. Then we're gonna sweep your hands forward and up, Again, that lunge, check your position. Feel free to come to your knee. So your choice, but 
but I want you to focus on ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Pull those abs in. Then we're going to bring hands at heart center. And we're going to hold here for five. Really feel the lunge. We tend to, as we start to get fatigued, come forward, bring it back. Pull those abs in. Then we're going to bring your fingers up towards the ceiling. We're going to cartwheel those hands, hands either side of your left foot, and step back to plank. So plank is our starting position. Then we're going to come down to your left knee, put your left foot behind you. Take a moment to stack the inside side plank. Think about that right little toe. Reach, and then bring your right foot off. Holding for five. Reach, reach, reach. Press. And then we're gonna bring the right foot to the mat. Make your way back to plank. Find your plank. Here's four point stack, straight down the mat. Squeeze your elbows in. Pressing back to plank. Pop back up. And press back into our facing dog. Now we're gonna step the right foot back. So we're gonna back for three-legged dog. We're gonna bring that right knee towards your forehead. Pause for a moment. Take a look, we're gonna step your right foot through. So both sets of toes are facing forward. Then we're going to swing your arms back and up. Find your lunge. Think about where that left leg is. Think about where your shoulders are. You should be able to feel the groin stretch. You should be able to see your right big toe and ideally your second toe. Hands are at center. Pull those abs in. We're going to hold here for five. Easy to let your elbows hang out. I want you to press your palms together and bring your forearms parallel with the mat. So none of this, but this. Remembering to breathe. And then we're still bring your fingers up towards the ceiling. We're going to cartwheel those hands and step back to plank. So find your plank. Then we're going to come down to your right knee. Move your right foot behind you. Try to place your left foot, all of that left foot. Tuck your hips and shoulders and lift your left hand up. Even if this is where you're going to stay, actively reach, reach, reach. So you're not just dumping here. Then we're going to bring your left foot off the mat if you can. You can clear the mat or come up high. But I want you, either way, as you're pressing through that heel. So you're really engaging those muscles. Abs engaged. And then we're going to slowly bring your left foot back down. All of that left foot. We tend to just think about the inside of your foot. I want you to roll and press all of the foot. And then make your way back to plank. So find your plank. Four point stack. Feel free to come to your knees. All the way down. Now pull your belly button and we're going to pop back up. You can use your knees or being off your knees, your choice. Then back into our facing dog. We're going to walk those hands back to join your feet. So travel to the back of your mat. Then we're going to walk your hands up and make your way back to mountain. So find your mountain. And then we're going to turn and we're going to come lengthless into your mat. So we're going to turn your toes out. Take your tailbone under, so ears over shoulders, shoulders over shoulders over hips. We're going to bend your knees and help circle sweep up. We're going to bring your hands to our center. Bend through your knees and your hips. Come down to the mat, pause. Inhale, circle, sweep back up. So this is sunflower, we're gonna do five of them. Hands at heart center. Bend through your knees and your hips. Bring your head down, touch the mat. Inhale, circle, sweep back up. Hands at heart center. Bend through your knees and your hips. Pausing for a moment. And inhale, circle, sweep up. Hands at heart center. Bend through your knees and your hips. Let your head hang for a moment. Inhale, circle, sweep up. Hands at heart center. Bend through your knees and your hips. Pausing for a moment. This is our last sunflower. Inhale, circle, sweep up. Hands at heart center. Fingertips up. And then we're going to take your hands to your right, your left. So palms are facing up. And we're going to bring your fingertips and thumbs together. We're not going to, we're going to keep them flat. So we're not going to crunch them together, but just flat. So arms reaching to your left, your right, shoulders down. Tailbone is stepped under. Toes are turned out. So as you sit back into the squat position, it's actually plie, plie, plie. There you go. So we're not sitting back in the chair. You're not dropping your bum, dropping your bum back. You should see both big toes. So if you need to walk your feet further apart, tailbone tucked in, and not worry about how low you're going, but just sinking through those hips. Arms are long. We're focusing your arms here for a moment. Pull your belly in. Tendencies, we start to kind of round forward because that's easy. We want you to roll your shoulders back. Then from here, we're going to stay here, lower body, and draw your elbows towards you. So imagine you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Separate your hands. Hands are still flat, so we're not squinching them together. Now we're going to press and extend upper and lower body. Inhale, coming up. Five point star. Exhale, back in a moon god. Again, you can draw your elbows in. We're coming towards your choice. 
Inhale, coming up. Reach. Exhale, back into Moon God. Pause for a moment. Check your work. Check your form. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, back to Moon God. Once more, inhale, coming up. Exhale, back to Moon God. Now we're gonna stay here in lower body. We're gonna bring your hands in our center. Press your palms together, forearms come parallel to the mat. It's easy to let your elbows hang out, avoiding that. Heel bone tucked under. We're gonna drop it down a little bit, sink down, do a couple of hops. Stay here. Now we're gonna bring your left heel off the mat. So all you're doing is you're engaging more of your calf muscles. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Plant your heel. Now bring your right heel off the mat. I'm gonna draw your shoulders back. We start to kind of round forward, holding for five. Where your, where your forearms, abs in. Then we're gonna release your heels together. We're gonna slowly coming up. Fingertips to your right, your left palms and fingertips together. Fingertips and thumbs together, palms are flat and sinking down. So here's Sun Goddess. Inhale, coming up. Prayer squat on your breath out. Inhale, coming up. Sun Goddess on your breath out. It is with a squat. Inhale, coming up. Prayer squat. Press your palms together. Inhale, coming up. Back to Sun Goddess. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, coming up. Now we're gonna turn your toes so they're pointed towards the front. We're gonna bring your arms out to your right, your left, pause for a moment. Roll your shoulders back. So neck is long. Then we're gonna hinge through your hips and take your hands and try to grab the outside of your feet. Then we're gonna let your head hang freely as you press all four corners of both feet. So you just roll slightly out and lift your sit bones up. So you're really feeling that outer thigh, inner thigh, and hamstring stretch. As you kind of roll into, the, into more of the inside of your feet, you let go. So really plant all four corners of your feet. Now we're gonna shake your head yes and no. Your neck does a lot of work already. And we're gonna pull your belly in because you're gonna use your core here. We're gonna take your hands away from your feet, reach out to your right, your left and slowly bring yourself up. Then we're gonna step your right foot to join your left arms overhead, hands at heart center, inhale, coming up. We're gonna come back in the mountain and then turn to look the length of your mat. Whether you're towards the front of your mat, towards the back of your mat, however you got it doesn't matter because we'll correct it. Then, from mountain, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, we're gonna walk those hands down. Here's your forward fold, then we're gonna walk your hands forward or if you're near the top of your mat, you're gonna walk your feet back. But you're gonna make your way back to that plank. Find that good solid plank. I'm gonna hold here. Shoulders are back. Charge your legs. Holding for three, two, and one. Roll yourself straight down. Four point staff, straight down the mat. We're gonna pop back up and back in down facing dog. We're gonna step the right foot back and then drop the right knee towards your forehead for a moment. We're gonna pause, then look forward and step your right foot through. So both sets toes are facing forward. Once again, back in the lower lunge. We're gonna come to a twist. So bring your left hand right alongside your right foot. Take your right hand out to your neighbor and add a twist. Trying to stack your shoulders and reach up. Feel free to come to your left knee as you're keeping both sets of toes facing forward. Then we're gonna slowly bring your right hand back down. So square yourself for lower lunge. Reach your fingertips forward and up for high lunge. So draw your shoulders back. Now we're gonna come down to your left knee, but keep those toes tucked under. Still try to keep ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and draw your elbows out to your sides. Just like we did in Moon God. You can come all the way in or out. Look down and see your right big toe, maybe second toe. Bring your ears back and really feel the groin stretch. Now here, we can stay here. Otherwise, now I want you to really press that left foot back, really, really engaging through your quads and stretching your fascia. We have five to go here. Four, three, two, and one. Now, one movement, we're gonna come off the knee and we're gonna bring your fingers up towards the ceiling. So make ready that high lunge, and then we're gonna come back down. Draw your elbows, come down to the knee, press back up, twice more. We're gonna draw those elbows in, come down to your knee, press back up. So find that high lunge, and then draw it, come down to the knee, elbows down, press back up. We're gonna cross your right thumb over your left palms together, and come to the tips of your left toes and reaching forward. So we're gonna hold here for a moment. Draw your left leg back. Five to go here. And then we're gonna bring your hands down either side of your right foot and step back to downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, your choice is to stay here 
We're gonna flow it once. We're gonna come forward to plank. Shifting forward, use your chaturanga, squeeze your elbows, and use your triceps, cobra. And then back to down facing dog. Stepping the left foot back. Then we're gonna bring your left foot through. The lower lunge, both sides, toes facing forward. Drag your right leg back. Bring your fingertips up. So you're making your way to that high leg position. Again, both sides, toes are facing forward. Pull your belly button in. We're gonna bring hands down at either side of your left foot. So right thumb should be touching the inside of your left foot. Take your hand up to your neighbor, and then take a moment to stack them. Reach up for your left hand. Draw your right leg back. Anytime, feel free to come to that knee. We have five to go here. And then we're gonna slowly bring your left hand back down. So you're gonna square yourself. Then reach your fingertips forward and up. Here's high lunge. Draw your right leg back. Hands on our center. So just a moment. Take this time to just recurrent. Find that lunge. Then fingertips up towards the ceiling. You're gonna draw your elbows out to your side. So open your chest. Stretch the shoulders in, and your shoulders in the chest. Then we're gonna come down to your right knee. Keep those toes tucked under. We're gonna hold here, but I want you to press your foot back. You're gonna engage your quads and stretch out that fascia. Now in one movement, we're gonna come off the right knee and reach your fingertips to the ceiling. So we're gonna slowly come up, and then draw your elbows back and come back down. We're gonna come back up. So find your lunge, coming back down. Once more, inhale, coming up. And then come back down. And then press back up. Now we're gonna cross your left thumb over your right, come tip to your right toes and reach forward. Try not to rest on that left thigh though. Draw your right leg back. We're gonna hold here for five. And then you bring your hands down either side of your left foot. Step back to plank. Find that plank. Coming all the way down from this four point step. So we've done that. Big toes together and back in the child's. So drop the sit bones back. Forehead on the mat. You can make fists for wrists if you like. Pausing for a moment. Abs pulled in. Grabbing water whenever you like. When you're ready, we're going to make your way back to tabletop. Remembering that tabletop is hands and knees. Then. We're gonna pull your belly button and we're gonna tuck your hips and your tuck your hips and your chin under, back in a cat, and then back in a cow, letting your belly hang. We're gonna come back in a cat. And then back in a cow. And then neutral tabletop. Right arm, left leg, your spinal balance. We're gonna hold for five. So we're working on the back here. Bring your left leg maybe a little higher. Then coming back down to tabletop. Left arm, right leg. Again, try not to roll to that left hip. Abs in. Reach your fingertips and toes a little bit. Opposite directions. Breathing and smiling. And then we're going to come back down to tabletop. Once more through, we're going to tuck your hips in under. We're going to flex your spine back for cat. And then back in a cow. And then from here, tabletop, we're gonna roll ourselves over onto our backs. So on our backs, we're gonna draw your knees into your chest. Easy rock and rolling from side to side. I like to kind of slow down the class and bring your hands down to your sides and press your feet up. Trying to have the balls of your feet over your hips. Great if you sit or stand a lot throughout the day. Trying to let your shoulders roll back, so you're actually pressing your shoulder blades into your mat. Let's keep your abs in. We have five to go here. And then we're going to slowly bring your knees back in. Reach around, keeping your head and your spine on the mat. We're going to bring each knee out to each shoulder to escape your ribcage and just stretch out your hips. And then we bring those knees back together. We're gonna slowly release both feet down to the mat. Letting your feet fall up with midline, hands down to your sides, closing your eyes for a moment, and making me in a Shavasana. And just a reminder that Shavasana is simply a breath in and a breath out. So as we're on our backs, relaxing your fingertips and toes. I know sometimes it's challenging to do this at home but it's truly a great way 
to kind of finish off this pose, this journey, and to begin the next. So just taking a moment, giving yourself permission to be still, and feeling the breath. And when you're ready, you're just like open your eyes. We're going to roll over onto one side. It doesn't matter which side, left or right. Pose of the unborn child. And then we're going to bring yourself up to a seated position, crossing your legs. Great reminder, seated mountain, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Sitting nice and tall, hands at heart center. And namaste. Thank you for participating in yoga with Kim. I encourage you, if you haven't already, to subscribe.